Hey YouTubers, it's Carl again. Thanks for stopping by one more time here at our Sell More Homes Now channel on YouTube. Here at Realty Executives Tucson Elite, we're committed to making sure that you make as much money as possible, as quickly as possible, so you can have enough time with your family and enjoy your life and all the benefits that this business brings you. So today what we're going to do is to continue to talk about some of the critical skills you need as a real estate agent and a real estate professional. If you're not in the real estate business, it doesn't make much of a difference. If you're involved in real estate in one fashion or another, then these are the skills you're going to need to know. So the skill today we're going to talk about is the skill of pre-qualification. Pre-qualification, okay? Now in the previous ones, we've talked about the importance of making sure your time is down, you've got all your days scheduled out, exactly the things you need to do step by step so you can approach in an orderly, systematic way the things you need to get done to make this business happen. Then we went ahead and we talked about going ahead and approaching your past clients and your center of influence, getting them organized to try and figure out who it is that you actually know who can maybe send you business. Those are going to be your top sources of referrals. They're going to be cheap, they're going to be easy, and they're going to be a lot easier for you to go ahead and make a lot of money from. Then we went ahead and we discussed the importance of prospecting to these people and making sure that you find out who it is that actually needs your services and some of the important things we needed to do there. Then we went ahead and covered the next step, of course, was lead follow-up. Once you found somebody who raised their hand and then said they wanted to do something, okay, great, now let's go ahead and follow up with them so we can make an appointment. Now we're going to assume that you've come to the point where you've made an appointment. And however you've managed to do this, Rather, they've been a for sale by owner, a web lead, a buyer, whoever they are. Now you've come to the conclusion, now it's time for us to make an appointment. We're ready. Now let's go ahead and start making an appointment. So you set the appointment, all right? Now, the important part here that most people forget is that you can't go out and just jump and run into every appointment you ever go to, okay? You have to go there, number one, with a purpose, all right? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of you going? Now, the first purpose is you might be going there simply for the idea, like if it's a for sale by owner, to establish rapport. Okay, that might be one reason why you're going. Establish rapport. Okay, maybe another reason why is if it's an expired listing and they're saying, hey, yeah, we're getting ready to, or for sale by owner for this matter, hey, yeah, we're getting ready to go ahead and we're making an offer, I'm sorry, we're getting ready to make a, a decision soon about someone to go ahead and handle the property for us. So now, maybe another reason why you're going there is to go ahead and offer services or make a presentation. <clears throat> okay? So the first thing you got to do is establish the reason why you're going over there, okay? And each appointment has its own set of criteria, okay? So for example, if you were going to go over to, say, someone you just talked to on the phone as a just listed, just sold, and they're saying, yeah, you know, we're kind of thinking about selling our home here in about two or three months, okay? But we just need to get a figure, an idea about what our home is worth, how much we're going to net, how does this process work? You know, you're not going to go over there with the idea that you need to just hammer them for an appointment, hammer them for the presentation, and then hammer them while they go ahead and sign. You're not going to go over there and do that. On the other hand, if this is somebody who's going to be making a decision today about whether or not they should hire an agent, okay, then yeah, you're going to want to be a little bit more aggressive. All right. So first, fix in your mind the reason why you're going over there, and then you'll be able to determine what's the next course of action. All right. So the next thing you want to do, okay, is ask a lot of questions. A lot of questions, okay? Now, if it's a listing appointment, the Mike Ferry website, which we promote, at mikeferry.com, has a little section on there for uh, pre-qualification questions. It's in the complimentary download section on their webpage. It's free. It's in Adobe format. Just go ahead and download that, print it out. It asks a series of questions for the listing client, all right? And the first one is, hey, look, if what I said made sense, you know, and you felt comfortable and confident that I could sell your home, would you list your home with me when I come out tomorrow at 2, okay? That's a perfectly legitimate question, all right? You want to know the reason why you're going out there. Hey, would you list with me if I come out there, all right? 
So you want to establish for yourself, if you're not comfortable with the Mike Ferry questions, then that's fine. Just go ahead and establish for yourself a set of questions that will ask you know, a lot of pertinent things. First, you want to know certain things. You want to know about, for example, price. How much do they want for it? How much do they owe? Okay, that's a big one these days. You know, who are they interviewing? All right. Where are they going? When are they moving? Oh, here's an important one. This is not written down in the Mike Ferry script, but this is a great question to always ask. And I always ask my clients, I always tell my clients to do this. I'm sorry, my, uh, my coaching clients to do this, as well as my staff. I always tell them, ask this one question. If you don't ask anything else, ask this one question, okay? What happens if it doesn't sell? If it doesn't sell, what happens? Okay, because there's a big difference. Everybody wants to sell their home, okay? But there is a huge difference between wanting to sell your home and having to sell your home. If you want to sell your home, okay, it's because you're wanting to move to another area of town or maybe something a little bit bigger, maybe something a little bit smaller, any reason. A lot of people want to sell. Many people are motivated to sell, but not everybody has to sell. Okay. Now, it is true. It is hard to find that person who says they have to sell. Okay. But do not be un under any uh, illusions about the fact that there are people out there in this market who have to sell. And those people who have to sell make your life a lot easier. They don't argue with you about price. They don't argue with you about what you're going to do. They don't tell you what to do. They're very, very good people to work for. Now, if they're on the other hand, they'd like to sell, okay, eh, the rest of these questions will help you determine whether or not you want to deal business with them. All right. Now, once you've asked your questions, you want to establish a couple things right from the beginning, okay? The third step of pre-qualifying, okay, once you have the answers to the who where are you going? When do you have to be there? What happens if it doesn't sell? Who are you interviewing? How long is it going to take? How much do you owe? How much do you want? These sorts of things. Once you get the answers to those questions, now it's time to go ahead and break it down into the pre-appointment routine. All right? The pre-appointment. The pre-appointment section of your pre-qualification is where you're setting them up for your presentation okay so for example a good question here all right might be what questions what questions do you have of me before I come out well yeah how much is your commission oh okay no problem we can certainly cover that what other sorts of questions do you have well uh, uh, how long are your listing contracts for oh that's no problem I'll be happy to cover that too. What other questions have you got? Well, yeah, what are you going to do to sell my home? Oh, I'm excited you asked. I'll be happy to bring that up too, okay? When you start fleshing out the questions that they have, okay, it's like shooting, you know, shooting fish in a, in a, in a barrel because now they're telling you, look, this is how you sell me, okay? This is what you got to say to me to list me, okay? So when they're telling you exactly what they want, all right, don't forget this important step. This is for the important appointments where you're going out for the listing, okay? This is not for the for sale by owner, okay? This is not the somebody you're just going to go out and take a look at. This is somebody who you're going out there to talk to about listing their home, okay? You want to know what kind of questions do they have before you come out, all right? It's also important to find out, have they thought about going for sell by owner? A lot of people are scared to bring up this point. Should I even bring up, oh my goodness, well, what if they, what if they say, yes, we are thinking about going for sell by owner? Hey, guess what? This is the web 2.0 age, okay? Everybody thinks about going for sell by owner, all right? You're not injecting something into their head that they never thought of. They thought of it before. 
you might as well find out right now if they're thinking about it. If they're thinking about it, don't get freaked out. Just say, oh, okay, interesting. All right, no problem. Or if they say, no, no, we're not going to go for sale by owner. We, we, we don't really have the time for that. Hey, great news. Now you know, okay? But you have to find out, all right? If you don't find out, then all you're going to do is find yourself bushwhacked when you get there. And they say, well, you know, we think we're just going to go ahead and save the commission by selling it ourselves. And wow, you don't have any objection handler for that, okay? The whole purpose of this pre-appointment qualification is to determine what objection handlers you need to have in your head before you come out there so that when they say, well, nah, you know, we're thinking about just selling it ourselves and saving the commission, you won't be like, blah, blah, uh, well, uh, you sure? You see what I'm saying? You've got to have a reason, you've got to have a rationale, you have to have a systematic approach to this, and this pre-appointment questionnaire will go ahead and make sure that works, all right? The next thing you wanna know is any competition. Any competition. Hey, Mr. Seller, I really appreciate the fact that you're going to meet me Tuesday at two, and I'm curious, who else are you gonna be seeing out there? Are you gonna be interviewing any other agents while I'm out? Well, yeah, we're going to be interviewing Joe Blow and Susie Smuckatelli and Fran Smith. You know, okay, great, perfect. Competition brings out the best in all of us, all right? So now the question becomes, where do you go? Do you go in first or do you go in last? That's really where the question is. You see, there's two schools of thoughts on this. If you go in first, okay, then... Everybody after you is judged by your presentation. So if you put in a great presentation, you come in with a smile and a great presentation, you're powerful, you know what to say, you're eloquent, you're very on topic, you're very on tune with what they want, everybody else is going to be judged by your performance. That's one positive thing about it. One negative thing about it is that they can also hit you with this response and say, well, you know, I kind of promised I would talk to Joe Blow and see what Joe Blow had to say. And now you're sort of in the behind the eight ball. On the other hand, you could go last. All right. And if you go last, that gives you many advantages. One advantage, of course, is that everybody else prior to you has been judged. And for one reason or another, they have not listed with them. Okay. So that leaves you, by this point, perhaps they're probably a little tired of interviewing people. And you may be the last person that they talk to. And usually, the last person they talk to is the one that they're going to sign with, especially if they're powerful, okay? The disadvantage here is that if you are in front, I'm sorry, if the people in front of you are very good closers, there are several in our market that come to mind. If I know that, for example, Erica is going to be in front of me, I'm not going to be too crazy about that because she is a great closer, okay? You know, if Rob is in front of me, I'm not going to be too crazy about that because he's a great closer, all right? But the fact is that sometimes there are significant advantages to being last if you can convince the seller not to make a choice before you get there, all right? That's a very important point to remember. Now, when you make this pre-appointment questionnaire, all right, you're pre-qualifying, You've determined throughout everything. Now to sum it all up, okay? Now you've summed it all up. You figured out where they're going to go, when they got to be there, what happens if it doesn't sell, how much do they want, how much do they owe, who they're talking to, who they're, you know, if they're planning on going for sale by owner, if you're going to be first or last. And now is the time for you to go ahead and say, okay, great. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Before I come out, I'm going to send what we call a pre-listing package. I'm going to send out a pre-listing package to kind of tell you a little bit about what it is I'm going to do to sell your home, okay? This pre-listing package is very, very simple, and we'll go over that in a future uh, video, uh, video here. But basically, the purpose of the pre-listing package is to not sell them on what a wonderful human being you are, okay? They don't care. The things that a, a seller cares about. There are three things that a seller, every seller, wants to know, and that's it. This is all they want to know, okay? The first thing they want to know, A, how much, how much you're going to sell my home for, B, how long, how long is it going to take, okay? 
and see what are you going to do. What are you going to do? Okay. How much are you going to make? More importantly, their net. That's what they really want to know. How long is it going to take for me to get my money? And what are you going to do to make this happen? Okay. Your pre-listing package will cover these items and these items only. Do not put in pictures of you and your dog. Do not put in pictures of you and your high school track, your family, your golf trophy, whatever. They don't care about that. If it doesn't have to do with anything other than this, if it doesn't have to do anything with this, then don't put it in there, okay? The reason why is because they want to quickly be able to go through this, preview what it is you're going to do, and then be able to decide whether or not they should see you. And then that leads us into the listing presentation. So we'll go over the listing presentation starting tomorrow, all right? So I hope this is of value to you. If it is, then feel free to go ahead and rate, comment, and subscribe down below and let your friends know about us. And we'll be happy to help them too. Thank you from me as well as the board members here at the Tucson Realty Executives uh, Tucson Elite. We want to say thank you for staying here and we hope all this helps. And uh, you take care. Have a great, powerful selling day. Bye-bye.